Well, welcome back to Channel Ron. Today we're going to be replacing the receptacle here in the kitchen. This is a 20 amp receptacle, not a 15 amp, and there is a difference. So when you're doing this, especially in the kitchen or a garage, you have to make sure you replace it with the right receptacle. Uh, what had been going on is the complaint we've been getting is every time they plug in the coffee maker, it would sometimes work and, and sometimes would not. So it's definitely in the receptacle itself. We're going to pull it out, put the new one in. Let's go ahead and get okay, started. And before we get started, we want to make sure that the power is off. So if you happen to have one of these devices, I got this at Lowe's as well, and you can get these online, a little Southwest uh, voltage tester. And it's going to tell us that we have power. So I'm going to need to go and uh, find the breaker for this and uh, kill the power. All right, so I just turned the breaker off, and we have no power here now. So it's safe to go ahead and replace this receptacle. Right, let's go ahead and remove the faceplate first. And now we're going to move, remove the receptacle. All right. I can already see part of the problem. I hate these stabbing receptacles. Look at that. They came right out of there. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put the new one in a little bit differently than this. So let's go ahead and continue taking this receptacle apart. Get our ground out of the way. Or maybe it wasn't a stabbing, I'm sorry, it wasn't a stabbing. Just wasn't installed properly, I'm guessing. No, it was, uh, it's just worn. So, no, it was tight. Just something wrong with the mechanism. Okay, so, we're going to get our wires out of the way there. Just going to kind of inspect them a little bit better. And uh, everything looks pretty good. Now we'll take our new receptacle. All right. Now, your black is your hot, white is your neutral, and then the bare one is your ground. So, the ground goes on the green. The copper side of the receptacle is a copper and a silver side. The copper is going to be your hot side, which is the black wire. And then your um, white wire, your neutral, is going to be the silver side. So I'm going to go ahead and do my ground first. And you always want to wrap that around where the, how the screw tightens up. So in other words, as it tightens up, it's going to kind of curl in on itself. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, put our neutral on. Yeah, I'm actually going to cut that back just a little bit. I kind of want that to be flush up to the base of the receptacle. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Go ahead and snug that up. Go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And again, I'm going to cut that one back ever so slightly. Now I'm just kind of noticing that this ivory that I picked up is not really ivory. Okay, but anyways, there we go. It's all uh, snug there. Got the neutral on, got the ground on. Now we want to kind of very carefully fold those back in. Kind of accordion them like a little bit. So I'm going to kind of go like that. That way it kind of folds in and like that. Kind of push it to one side or the other just to make sure everything goes good. Do a quick inspection, make sure that that ground is not touching anything but the ground screw itself. You don't want that to be hitting the hot side. And let's go ahead and screw the new receptacle in. Get them started, one on the top, then get the one down below started. When you're about halfway, I usually like to kind of twist it to the side that it may be kind of forced out a little bit. It was, it was kind of pushing to this angle, so I just kind of moved it to that side a little bit. There we go. Push it in again. It looks like it's going to work. 
and either this is just discolored from age or I just got the wrong color but uh, I didn't see anything other than a white up there but the client aka the missus is gonna have to deal with it <laughs> all right now go ahead and um, put your faceplate back on this you might find that you might have to adjust that ever so slightly to one side or the other to put the faceplate on yeah, like that So we can tighten that one back up a little bit. There we go. Go ahead and put the screws back on. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and turn the circuit breaker back on. Well, okay, well, there it is, all installed, back up and running, coffee maker is plugged in, no problems at all. Uh, in further inspection of this, this receptacle did fail. Uh, the mechanism that holds the wire in there, it, it, it just failed. I've never seen that before. Uh, so, um, you know, it was a legitimate issue that needed to be taken care of. Now, obviously, we have a color issue here, but I will deal with that. That's damage control, so I'll take care of that. Uh, at a later time. So I hope this helps you with your receptacle problem that you may be having. This works the same way with uh, uh, 15 amp circuits. This is a 20 amp circuit. 15 amp circuit, the receptacles are going to look a little bit differently. They're not going to have this side notch here. Uh, but other than that, it's going to work the same way. So please be safe. Turn off the power before you do anything like this. And again, if you don't feel comfortable, have somebody else that can do it for you. So I hope this helps and uh, stay tuned for the next one.